Hello everyone and welcome to this Crazy Talk 7.3 video tutorial on how to export and share your projects for use in web browsers and iDevices. So the first thing we need to do is create a project. So let's go into the Actor tab and I'll choose Eugene here. And I will res resize him a bit and reposition him right about there. Okay, so the next thing is giving Eugene a voice. So we know how to do this. I'll go up, import audio, and add an audio file. So we have an MP3 file here, open, and immediately I get prompted. So I want to choose a talk mode. That's the auto motion I want to create. So Crazy Talk will process that audio and generate the lip sync and the face and head and shoulder animation for my character based on that audio energy. Hey everyone, barbecue at my place on Saturday. It's on Hill Valley Drive at 3 p.m. Okay, that looks pretty nice. And the next part, I just want to add in a simple background. So I can go to templates and choose one, or I can add in my custom background. And that looks great. So our project is ready. I can open the timeline down here, and you can see that we have the, the voice energy, the default talk mode and the default idle, uh, idle uh, uh, template we have. So in Crazy Talk 7.3, if you go to export, traditionally you can export as a video, also as an image. And this time around we have this share option. So here we will be able to use this, this export function to share our projects on web browsers or iDevices. So the first step is to define the motion behavior. So if I click here on Show Content Manager, it will immediately redirect me to the Content Manager. And then I have to choose either an idle motion and an auto motion too, okay? So the idle motion is basically the type of animation that a character will perform when he's idling, when there's no voice uh, being played back um, and this character is just standing there. The idle motion will kick in after a couple of seconds and you see that the character looks a bit more lifelike. So by default, we have this idle motion. And if I play this back, you can see him reacting to that. That's very plain, it's a very simple idle motion. Um, but I wish to use something different. Here, I can use exhausted. Let me double click on this. And you see down here at the bottom now, it says exhausted idle. And you see Eugene getting sleepy right there. Okay, so I wish to use another one. I'm gonna go into this folder. I'm going to use an idle motion that we created for Toto. Toto is one of the new characters for the Crazy Talk app. And I like this idle motion because um, you'll see later on, he looks very friendly and I think it fits well with Eugene because Eugene is a nice guy. And we see the idle motion being performed. Okay, not bad, I like it. But notice one thing, that even though this idle motion is down here in the project, it is not in the export setting. So you need to drag and drop this inside to make sure that that is the idle motion you will be exporting for this project. Now we go to auto motion, so I can click here and this redirects us to the auto motion folder, to the tab, the auto motion tab. And notice that it's grayed out. This is because we can't use it as long as there's no voice energy in the track here over the time scroll, we can't use it because there's no voice energy to direct that auto motion. So just move your uh, time scrub back to that voice track and now we can use this part. So I will go out and we'll go to scenario and talk. So by default I mentioned that we have this talk mode. So let's remember what it looks like. Hey everyone! Barbecue at my place on Saturday. It's on Hill Valley Drive at 3 p.m. Okay, so I wish to use this auto motion template, Kit Talking, because it looks a bit more fun. So I'll double click on it or drag and drop, and this will be added down here at the bottom. And you'll see the difference in the animation that it generates. Hey everyone, barbecue at my place on Saturday. It's on Hill Valley Drive at 3 p.m. Don't be late. Great, so I think that looks nice. So let me go back and in my export, uh, export settings, I will make sure that we're exporting this kid talk. Great, 
Uh, the next part is to choose the length. So I can type in that length or I can grab my uh, red marker here, my triangle, and I can place it right at the end of my project. This is all I wish to export. And then we also have another option here called iPhone display area. I can toggle this on or off and this will allow me to center the frame uh, for viewing this project in an iPhone. Okay, and I can leave this like that. Uh, if I want to test my, my project, I can click on Web Preview. And this will redirect me to my web browser. And this will open the Unity Web Player. Okay, so you need to have the Unity Web Player installed. If you download, uh, if you update to the new Crazy Talk 7.3, I believe that we have uh, the Unity Player installer attached to it. Okay, and you can see Eugene already performing that idle motion that we chose. And if I move my mouse around, he follows my mouse. Right, Eugene? Yes. Okay, so let me play my project. Hey everyone, barbecue at my place on Saturday. It's on Hill Valley Drive at 3 p.m. Don't be late. Okay, great, so it works well, and I want to use it. So I'll go back here, and we are ready to upload. So we have two options when we decide to upload. This can be uploaded to the Reillusion member account or to the Reillusion trial account. So here, I'm going to type in a name, Eugene Barbecue. And hi guys, let's see, let's give it a description. Hi guys, come to my barbecue on Saturday. And then I click on next. And here, so what I was saying that we have two options. I can upload to the member upload or I can upload to the trial upload. Now the trial upload is free. Um, it, the only thing is that there is an expiration date. So once your free trial period for the crate for Crazy Talk 7 expires, so will, will the projects that you have uploaded to the trial server. Now if you have purchased Crazy Talk 7, then you can go into reillusion.com and you could register as a free member and then write in, you need to type in your serial number and that will link your copy of Crazy Talk 7 with your member account and you will be able to link these two. So let me try the trial version first. I can do this. Um, also, I forgot to mention that for the member account, you have an expiration date of one year. So for one entire year, you can have your project stored in the server. And you can also upload up to 300 projects. And you can manage these later on. And I'll show you how to do this. So our project is now up on the free trial server. And I have the option of sharing the URL, which is this one. I could use this embedded code. Or I can use this generated link for iDevices. So for share URL, I can publish on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Tumblr, or, or Blogspot. So let me show you. Eugene actually has his own Facebook, okay? And I wish to publish that um, animated invitation on his uh, Facebook. So what I wish to do here is click on Publish. And this will give me the option to share this link on his Facebook. So I will click on share link. And if I refresh, I will see that that post, that link, that video invitation was, was posted. And I can click on that. And then you can see the same um, Unity web player and you can interact with the character and play it back. So we saw this already. Hey everyone. Okay, great. So what else can we do? So we can do this on Twitter, Google+, Tumblr, and also on Blogspot. So just to show you, Eugene also has a Blogspot. And of course, he likes to blog about crazy talk in education. So if I go back and I decide to publish on Blogspot, it will immediately drop that link inside. And here, I want to add an image. So I think he has some images saved. Yes, he does. I'll select and I will post this. I will publish this post. And if I want to view that blog, you will now see that the new post has included 
that animated um, video invitation. And we've seen this already. Okay, so this is uh, for Facebook, for Blogger, and we also have other options. Here, for the, the next one is the embed code. So if I have my own website and I have the HTML files, I can open that file in Dreamweaver and I can add in that code. So let me go out here and I'll show you this is Eugene's blog. So it can be your company website or it can be, it can be a website that you've created. And what I'd like to do is that right here under this area where the tower bridge is set, I would like to add that video, that animated video invitation, okay, right between these two. So I just simply have to go to Crazy Talk and I will copy this link. And then I have to open this HTML file in Dreamweaver. So I have it open already. So down here under the tower bridge, you see that this is the code for that section. So right under that, I want to paste the new code for my crazy talk invitation. And I will save this. And if I go back into my browser, I can refresh. And you'll see that the Unity player is attached to it. Now notice that the margins are different. The video actually doesn't fit properly. This is because the width of that tower bridge block here, that width is 659. And for our animated uh, invitation, the width is 800. So let's try to change that right now. I will put 659 and then I will save. Command save on a Mac, or I think it's control save on Windows. If I go back to the browser and I will reload, you can see that now my video invitation fits perfectly on my web page. So you can have some ideas on how this can help your website. If you have a company website and you want to sell a product, you can create this animated video introducing your company or introducing every single product. So somebody can click on, on, on play, the character will describe the product. And then once that stops playing and the, the customer is moving around and clicking on these other links, you can see that your character will be following those mouse movements and performing the idle motions. So this gives you a great opportunity to give your website personality and have people feel like um, there is someone, a real character on that site that's, uh, that's guiding them through all the products and all the services. And I believe that Eugene agrees with me here. <laughs> okay, great. So the last part is uh, sharing this to an iDevice. So you, what you need to make sure, you need to make sure that your iPad or your iPhone or even your iPod Touch, you need to have the free Crazy Talk app installed. There's two versions. There's the free one and there's the paid one. This link will, will, will work on both of them. So you can copy this generated text link and you can email it to someone or you can send it through Skype or you can send it through a messenger or any way you can communicate between your desktop computer and that iDevice. So in this example, I will go to my email here and I will paste all of this and I will send it. And then once I send it, I will go into my iDevice and then I will open that email to download that project. Okay, so now in my iDevice, what I want to do is go to my email and in here we see that we just received the email and I have that link to download the project. Now I first have to make sure that I install the Crazy Talk app. So here I have the free version and the paid version. So back to my email I will just simply tap on that link and automatically that link will download and install into my Crazy Talk app. And you see that the project is downloading. And now I have the ability to access both the project and the actor. So if I choose actor, the project here, you see I have my project for Eugene, and I can play this back. Hey everyone, barbecue at my place on Saturday. It's on Hill Valley Drive at 3 p.m. Don't be late. Okay. 
Great, and if I like to puppeteer this character, I can do so too. And I can use my, the gyroscopes built into the iDevice, and I can animate that too. I can move it back and forward, and I can also reanimate this character. So if I choose record down here at the bottom, I can choose my own voice. Hello everyone. So this is the new function for Crazy Talk 7.3 and your iDevice. So I'll stop and then I click on OK. And this will use the same technology to reanimate my character. Hello everyone. So this is the new function for Crazy Talk 7.3 and your iDevice. And great! And you see how easy it is to share these projects and send them to your iDevice and reanimate them. Okay, so now that we know how to animate and use the, the crazy, this project on the Crazy Talk app, I would just like to quickly uh, show you that besides using the, besides using the original um, trial, I'm sorry, besides using the trial version upload, I can also upload with uh, my member account. So here, let me just do this quickly, and I can click on upload here. And if I click on upload, that will take me to my, uh, to, to my area where I can manage my assets. So another way to do this is actually if you, if you have your account already and you already linked and uploaded, you can click on this section here in Windows, Crazy Talk Cloud, okay, and this will take you to your member cloud area, and you're able to manage your projects. So you're able to see the oldest one, and if you, you can use this toolbar here to search for different names, and if you want to delete your project, you can do that. So here, let me try to export this one. I will upload. Uh, this one is Eugene's Barbecue, right? So Eugene, Eugene Barbecue, and just like that. I'll just next, and I'll upload to the member upload. So you have successfully signed in. So this is generating my file, and it's uploading to the cloud server. So again, in the cloud server, you if you have a member account, you will be able to store your projects for up to a year and you can share them with anyone. You can also share with anyone on the, on the trial uh, cloud service. So you can have it up for a year and you can upload up to 300 different projects. And this is uploaded already. I can click here on manage assets and this will take me to my area. Okay, so if I, would, if I have up to 300 projects and I'm filled up, I can actually select the projects that I, I'm not interested in sharing anymore are the old projects and I can delete them to make space for new projects. I can also customize these here. So I can just click on this area for the title and also in the description area. Hi guys, I can change that too. You just click outside and it will, it will automatically save. And if you would like to share this again, just click here on share and you will be able to generate the URL, the embedded code, and the code for iDevices. So this is very neat, it's a very cool new function, and we hope you enjoy it and take advantage of it, okay? Thank you.